All right, everybody, we're back for another round of This Week in Survivor History Trivia, and it's the new era, and is it fun? And we're playing against the titans of the new era in trivia, and of course, here he is back with us, the man who has put together a remarkable quiz every week that there's never any controversy. It's Jordan Kalish. Hey, how you doing, Rob? Last week, you know, we're you know working out the kinks on the on the uh, the new rules for the quiz with you going against the uh, the great new era yeah. contestants. And I think last year, here's here's there were some positives, some negatives. I think everyone who listened had a lot of fun. I think that maybe. They didn't love the fact that there were questions from season 43 because we had the great Dwight Moron who was Do you on think so, doctor? I, I think the bigger issue though. But first of all, okay. So yes, there were some 43 questions, but there were but there were a lot of new era questions that were about other right. seasons besides 43. All right. All right. You podcasted professionally about all those seasons, okay. by the way. All right. Now, Jordan, just promise me one thing, okay? Yes. Yes, I'll promise. Promise me you're not going to embarrass me in front of Mary Ann, okay? I could pro I I will promise you that because... I will do my best to not uh embarrass you in front of the curse of the M survivor, Mary Ann. Woo! Mary Ann, um, okay. Yes, I She's see here. Yes, I don't think it's you who needs to be worried about being embarrassed. I think if we all remember my last Twitch appearance, the first answer, which I got very absolutely wrong on a season that I was personally there and present for, I think the bar is a little low for me. Um, whoever's here next week, I there's a good chance it's going to roll over, but I'm going to do my best yeah. to make sure my charity can make it. To make it fair, Jordan, just ask yeah. all questions about the last six episodes of Survivor Token Genes. Okay, that's, that's what this is. It's all the six questions of Token Genes, and oh uh, this, my god, this week in Survivor Forty Two. That's the that, those are the Perfect. two rounds this week. Yeah, I think that's completely fair and balanced. Okay, Marianne is getting married soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marianne, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing good. You know, getting married. It's so that's like what? It's less than I can't math anymore. Less than five weeks. I think it's like wow. thirty. Okay, I'm getting married on a Monday. It's Thursday. Yes. So then thirty-five Monday plus Thursday is four, right? Thirty-five, thirty-four, thirty. So thirty-one days. Getting wow. married in thirty wow. days. Oh, just over a new era season. I know, right? Or or an Australian Survivor pre-merge, as they call <laughs> exactly. it. Exactly, <laughs> one of the two, depending on which ones you watch or both. So yes. that's really exciting okay. and hectic. But luckily, my fiance is a designer. So the he's great doing Connor. All the design. The great Connor. Thank you so much, Connor, for doing all the design as I go and record this and you uh, go and say which flowers we should choose and what the arrangements will be and what napkin color it should be so yeah what color will the napkins be i'm an involved fiance and i can tell okay. you the napkin colors will be blue blue okay is she right jordan uh yeah i think that's uh i think that's a good color for napkins. okay okay perfect all right so we're back here together and we're ready to play. If you missed it last week, I took on Dwight. I am 0 and 1 so far in the season, but Marianne, in this new era that you are playing to raise money for charity, $100 is at stake. If you win, we will donate $100 to the charity of your choice. If not, it will roll over to next week and next week's contestant will be playing for $200. Marianne, what is the charity that you're playing for? Yes, I wanted to do what was the best impact and something passionate to me. So I will be, uh, what's the word, competing for the American Medical Association Foundation. Okay. They do some really cool stuff. They have, you're able to go and donate to high impact funds. You're able to donate as needed and you're able to actually go and donate. And they create scholarships for those who are underrepresented in medicine so that if they want to be, go into medicine, they'll be, uh, finances won't have to be the concern about them going and making sure that people are represented. Okay. Sounds like a great cause. So we'll see if they get any money today. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> and, and nobody, nobody get mad at Dwight Moore for winning last week, because if you do win, he did take a hundred dollars away from your charity and, and instead gave it to St. Jude's. Yeah. 
I think okay. it should just be fair since Dwight got 43 questions. There should be 42 questions. Like the precedent has been set. We cannot change it in okay. after the beginning. Okay. That's all I, I'm saying. I will, I will say this. The questions are written. There uh, are zero questions on this quiz from season six, okay. season eight, or 42. Okay. All right. Jordan, all right. Any other yes. rules you want to set up? Should Jordan, Mario, yeah. should Jordan be in the middle? Should you be up here on the top with me? I do not mind. Whatever you want. Okay, let's make. I think this. that makes oh. sense. That's where Dwight. That's where Dwight was. I think that's okay. Like, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. This is better. This is, this is better. Yeah, typically, I, I if like you this. when we have a guest, we put the guest in the uh, on, on their own level. But Perfect. this is like a game show. All right. So we this okay. is a, this is a game show, and there are new rules. But when I was thinking about it, Rob, I'm pretty sure these new rules are very similar to the rules we used to do when we used to have guests on this podcast years ago. So here is what we are going to do. There are going to be two rounds of trivia. I am going to tell you the seasons that the questions will cover. You will pick the season for your question. For whatever season you pick, I will ask the question. For round one, if you get the question right, you'll get one point. If you are wrong, there is no losing points uh, in this game. If you are wrong, your opponent can steal the point if they get it right. Question one, uh, sorry, uh, round one, I think they're the two easier questions. They will not have multiple choice options. But when we get to round two, I will tell you the rules for round two. I think that's easier. Okay. Let's, let's start so we're going to keep one. it tight, right? Because Marianne is busy. We'll keep it tight. And there are only six questions on this whole quiz. So six okay. questions plus, plus a verbal rebus. Okay. The verbal rebus will not be worth any points. And there will be... Ah. Uh, no, no buzzing in this game. Right, great. Because I think people like to play at home. I think people like to play at home too. I, mm -hmm. And I'm listening, or and in I, their car. Yeah, I, I was, uh, you know, I actually was listening to you, to you and, uh, to you and Jeff, and I think that Jeff talked about the fact that when he he does a game, he always, you know, he always has a reason for doing it. I had a reason for the buzz, mm -hmm. and listening back, I was like, you know what, the 43 questions, amazing. Our chemistry, as always, with Dwight, unbelievable. Can't, couldn't be better. However. The buzz eh, didn't love yeah. the buzz. So yeah. the buzz, the buzz is gone. You're just going to choose your category. So for the first, even question, Jeff will tell you like, uh, like, okay, Rob, Rob has good instincts for this stuff. He yeah, knows Rob. what's going to work and what's not going to work. Rob, Rob has good instincts for this stuff, and and uh, like Jeff, I, I myself I, I am a uh, you know a great host of all of of all things. With the uh, you know, I have my lane, the Survivor trivia. He has his lane, which is actual Survivor, and it's kind of, kind of the same thing. Yes. Okay. Let's get to it. Let's do, let's do it. So this yes. is going to be round one, and uh, and for round one, we are going. I am going to flip a coin. I have a uh, virtual coin here. Uh, the whoever gets the the coin to us, I think Marianne as the guest uh, as the away player will get to choose heads or tails. You will get to choose the season that your question is from. The two seasons that you could choose from are going to be Borneo and Island of the Idols. So Marianne, heads or tails? Ooh, heads was what my gut said. Heads. All right. So I'm going to flip the virtual coin. It takes Did he freeze? Oh, Did tails. he freeze? No. What, what this, it was a, it was a long it was a long whatever side I, I used was a long I think we can forego the coin toss. Just let the guests we get to pick first. <laughs> well, Marianne did fine. lose. Marianne did lose the coin toss. But but if you're saying that you want to let Marianne yeah, choose this, the season, for the sake of moving the show along, we, we, wow. we got so a la coin last toss. week last week you 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 and you you and Dwight were kind of at odds. You didn't like that he was getting 43 questions, and now you're letting the guests pick this pick the season. You've you've really turned over a new leaf this week. Uh, so Marianne, do you want the Island of the Idols. Island of the Idols. Yep. Okay, so if you are, if you get this question right, you get mm -hmm. a point. If you're wrong, Rob will have the chance to steal the point if he okay. gets it right. So, Kelly Kim had to answer trivia questions on the Island of the Idols in order to earn an expiring idol. What were these questions about? One was about Sandra's dog's name. So, like, it was questions about, like, Ro like Rob and Sandra's, like, life and their people and i remember one was about sandra's two dogs and the two dogs names so you went way more in depth than you needed to rob and sandra's personal lives is the is the correct yes! answer to that question yes! uh, so marianne you start off strong with a point mm -hmm. uh like i said i didn't think for the for round one you would need uh you would need um a multiple choice so rob okay. you get the borneo question you are the okay. older school player so you're gonna get the older school question <laughs> okay i'm trying to help you what, out yes what did Dr. Sean Kenneth name his makeshift fishing pole? I believe uh, it was named uh, Super Pole. Super Pole is the, correct. Okay, Rob, you get it. So yes, I would have accepted. Was it, was it Super Bowl? Super Bowl? Uh, was it? Was it two thousand or three thousand? 
It, it's 2000. So yeah. I, I did watch the scene, Rob, because I wanted yes. to see what. So su Super Bowl or Super Bowl 2000. Andre 3000, Super Bowl 2000. <laughs> yes, two, two different things. Very similar. But uh, the uh, he, he actually did call it the Super Bowl in his confessional. But on the actual poll, he did write Super Bowl 2000. So either one would have been correct. You're both off to a strong start. Now, okay. we are going to get to round number two. It is going to be very similar. There are four questions in round number two. I have four seasons. Uh, we will start with uh, Marianne, who will get to choose her season. These yeah. are harder mm -hmm. questions. These are harder que questions. So if you are able to get the question right, Without using multiple choice, you'll get two points. However, mm -hmm. you can ask for the multiple choice. And if you are right with the multiple choice, you will only get one point, knowing, mm -hmm. though, that the opponent can steal the point and they will hear the multiple choice options. Mm -hmm. And if you're wrong, you'll be limiting one of the, well, you'll be eliminating one of the answers. So mm -hmm. you put yourself in a potential bad spot if you get the multiple choice, but uh, you might need it. So, Marianne, the four seasons that we have to choose from we have Panama, Cook Islands, China, and Winners at War. Winners at war. Right, Hungry win for more. <laughs> Winners at war. You did well in 39. So we're going one season later to mm -hmm. season 40. In order to activate her idol, Kim Spradlin had to give half her idol to another player before sundown. Who did she choose? Sophie Clark. Sophie Clark is correct. So Marianne is very easy. Get two points. <laughs> yeah, and not not a, not not a, a terribly difficult question, but Marianne knew it. I think I think if I went a little bit more in depth on Winners at War based on the fact that Marianne just sang the song, she she would have got it. So, she has a 3 to 1 lead. Rob, yeah. uh you now can choose between Panama, Cook Islands, and China. Okay, I'll, I'll take China. Okay, we are going to Survivor China. The first kidnapping of the season occurred when Fei Long won the reward challenge and selected Jamie Dugan to join them at camp. Who from Fei Long did Jamie choose to share the idol clue with as part of the twist? Um, it was. I do. I, I feel like I do know this, and I am trying to. The name is escaping me, and if I don't have it in a second, I'm going to have to use my. Uh, I, I have to have the multiple choice. All right, so the multiple choice, it is Eric Huffman, James Clement, Leslie Nice, or Todd Herzog. I believe it was Leslie Nice. Leslie Nice is correct. Uh, she ends up getting voted out in the next episode because she was kidnapped and her tribe started to get concerned that she was making uh, strong connections with the other tribe. So, Rob, I think that was the name you were probably thinking of a little bit harder than maybe than the winners at war question. But look, that's the luck of the draw. Marianne chose the category. Okay. Right. And got it right. So we go to so Marianne, you have a three to two lead here. Uh, Rob, you are in danger of donating money yet again to a worthy charity. And Marianne, you get to choose either. Uh, this is it. But there's only two questions left. Two questions left. You wanted to type, baby. This is okay. tight. I, I just oh double checking. I just double checking. At Panama or Cook Islands. You have so if Marianne gets this without multiple choice, then uh, I'm frozen out. Game's you, over. You would be mathematically yes. You will okay. mathematically. No, there's the a chance. Don't worry. So Panama, or yeah. But if she's wrong, Rob, you get. To I mean, not to critique point. the game design, but I feel like that the person who's losing should get to go, and then. I mean, I guess I guess if I get it wrong, I guess if I get it wrong, it's the same. I mean, thing. we're all alternate. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Panama or Cook Islands. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to think about which one I know better. I'm poor in both of them. So I'm going to go with my best guess for what will come up. So I'm going to go with Panama and hope okay. for the best. So Panama, after just one tribal council, the four tribe format was disbanded and the players were placed on two tribes via schoolyard pick. One player wasn't selected and therefore joined Kasaya once Melinda was voted out. Who was this player? <laughs> okay. Um... I'm thinking that the player, Kasaya, that was the crackhead tribe, right? Am I getting yes. that right? The one with like Shane and Sari and like all, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know who it was, but I, I have a guess in my mind, but I'm really bad with names. So I'm going to go multiple choice and hope that one of the names is recognition. All right, so this is the the Rob strategy. You think you know who it is, but I am going to give you the multiple choice. And again, if you if you are wrong here, Rob will get to answer the question yep. uh, for one point. We mm -hmm. have Bob Dog. We have Bruce Kennegai, Misty Giles, or Sally Schumann. Okay. 
none of these names are calling to me. I do. Uh, my gut was telling me that it was a woman. But then if they went to exile, there was an idol. There was Bob Dog. I'm not feeling that. Who was the second person? Bruce kind of guy. Not feeling that. The next one? Misty Giles. Misty Giles. Not feeling that. And what's the last one? Sally Schumann. Sally Schumann. Sally, Sally. Sally. Was Sally young? Can I ask that or no? Um, she she was, uh, I guess, of, of the younger persuasion. Okay, then I'm yes. going to go with, I'm, I was thinking, the, I, my guess in my gut was go with the older woman. So that's who I'm going to go with. So not Misty, but the other woman. Sally. Sally. So you're going with Sally. Yeah. Sally is incorrect. So Rob, uh, okay. you have now Bob Dog, mm -hmm. Bruce, or Misty yeah. for one point. Can a guy get a point? Bruce, can a guy? That is correct. It was Bruce, uh, Marianne. So uh, S Sally and Misty were both from the younger women tribe uh, uh, on that season. They were split into- uh, In to, fairness, to now they are much older. That's true. <laughs> Currently in 2024, they <laughs> now, are- they, Now they're giving Ruth Marie. Yeah, they're giving Ruth oh, Marie. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. They, they could yeah. probably be hanging out with like uh, with with the. Uh, now Maria, they would be Maria in the older the women's season. tribe. Yeah, they would be okay. on the older women's tribe. Everybody so on all... Panama. There's now, no one on Panama. They're real Melinda the and Ruth Marie's now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Linda, Linda and Ruth Marie. I mean, what what are they doing? So, um, okay, we have a tie game. Rob, now they're yeah. God, you can clinch a win with this. Yes. With this class okay. If you get it right, so you could even no whether pressure. you get multiple okay. choice or if you get uh you get it. Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. We're going to Cook Islands, and, Rob. And, okay, Cook Islands. Okay, and 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 if if Jordan, if there's any, if he has any sense of what Survivor is about, hopefully, I know what he's going to talk about here. Oh, it's definitely not. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but it's not that. Okay, Survivor Cook Islands. After losing the second immunity challenge, Aitutaki got to send one player from one of the other three tribes to Exile Island. Who from Puka Puka did they send? Because Survivor Cook Islands is a very famous second episode. Why wouldn't we ask a question about Billy easy. Garcia? Billy Garcia. It's too I easy, thought it was, Whoa. I thought it was Billy Garcia as well, who does, too. Who did, who did Kim Spradlin give the idol to? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> now, Marianne, look, you, you beat yes. Marianne, the first choice yes. of category, okay. by look, the way. Rob, uh, all these seasons are old, bad, yeah. old seasons, I, okay? You, okay. You okay. Know who was on the Puka Puka tribe. <laughs> I, I have I no know. idea. Never heard that word before Cook, in my life. Cook Islands yeah. is, ve is, is very okay. well known for right. its tribal divisions, but not because okay. of the names of the All right. Names. Then <laughs> it, all I have to do is get the question right and I win. Yeah. So if you get okay, the Okay. So give me the choice. multiple choice. Give me the okay. multiple choice. So the Puka Puka was the tribe that had Becky Lee, Cowboy, Jenny Guzan Bay, or Yule. Okay. And then if I get it wrong, it goes back to Marianne. If it, you're wrong, it would go back to Marianne. Okay. And she could steal the point. All and right. get the win. Uh, I don't think any of those other people went to XL Island. I think it's Yule. Yule did go to Exile Island, and that is where he found the Super Idol. So, Rob, you get the point. You win the game four to three. Congratulations. Unfortunately, wow. Marianne, great charity, will not be receiving money yes. this week. But next week's charity will be receiving $200. $200 yes, on the line next week, Marianne. Yes. Rolls over. Okay? Okay. Rob, do All we right. have time for a verbal rebus? There will not be points. Do, but, uh, I'll let Marianne decide. Marianne, yes. do you care about a verbal rebus? Gonna, yes. Okay, and then if I win the points and you don't get it, I'll be like, no, I deserve the points and I okay. should win. Okay, yes, yes. But just that, for funsies. That I, would be, I accept yes, my loss. Yes, you are very close friends with Shannon for a reason. Yes, that, that is exactly. Do you know that every day Shannon and I, like, we send each other wordles, and then because she's the day ahead, I will tell her what the wordle was, but I will do it as a Rebus puzzle. I love Rebus puzzles. Wow, Okay. Shannon, Shannon did once send me a rebus puzzle for my birthday, which is which is very nice. Uh, so okay, so here here is the verbal rebus. Uh, this is not this is not for points. You could both work together here. Uh, okay, so we have uh, somebody who got voted out uh, in, in a second episode in Survivor history. We have War Dog's actual first name. Hmm. Can you be more specific? His uh, duh. There was a guy. There was a guy named War Dog on. The it's the War it's, Dog. Uh, his, no. his, yeah. So War, War I know Dog. What does it? What does it rhyme with? It, it, it rhymes. No, I with, know his name. It's Dan okay. De Silva. His it name is Dan. Dan, yeah. okay, Dan yeah. De Silva. So Dan. 
the location of Penner's infection that took him out of the game in Micronesia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. A few, a few Dannys. Yep. Pat was on one of these when he was injured okay. in David versus Goliath. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> the last name of the Zapatera tribe's former NFL player. Yeah. Okay. So I don't who, know that one, but Steve I'm going to Steve Wright. Yeah. Steve Wright. So. Thank you. Guys, well, so let's go on three. I, on, on three. One, two, three. Who is it? Danny, Danny Boatwright. McRae. No, about Boatwright. Yes. <laughs> Danny McRae is her grand. No, Danny yes. Boatwright, winners at war, uh, third boot, but the second episode, winner, of course, of Survivor Guatemala, which some people have said is my favorite season, which uh, is not necessarily true, but I, I do. It, is, it has become a meme. So, yes. We did it, okay. Rob. We did it. We we did much, it. Okay. Fair, much fairer rules this week, right? M Jordan, you did a good job. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. That's all. Marianne, that's all I needed for to get to get me through this week, Rob. Okay. So you didn't get the W here today, but we will have the pleasure of having you back with us in just a couple of weeks on the Survivor yeah. Post Game Show. So I'm looking forward to that. Always yes. looking forward to any time I get to chat with you. Do you really? I of course, absolutely. Pointedly making eye contact. Yes. Okay. Is that, is that good or bad? It's good. Yeah. And no, I mean what you're saying. I, I mean it. I say that with, I say that ish with my whole chest, Marianne. Thank Mary, you. Mary, Marianne is an incredible person. She's so much fun to talk to. And when I, uh, whenever I see her in person, it's always so much fun. We laugh and laugh and we always have a great time. Thank you. This was said not under duress. Not under duress. <laughs> I, I really, I, I'm very sincere. <laughs> Oh, thank you. I've still never gotten to meet Marianne in person. This is and this needs to happen at some point. It happens. I, I I'm planning on going to New York City sometime before my friend leaves it forever. I can't pay New York City hotel prices, so That's we'll okay. make it work. All right, Jordan, where can people keep up with you? Uh, you could uh, at, at Jordan Kalish on Twitter. Uh, I, I'm always posting about uh, the the New York City Survivor Party. I I, I will be there. Uh, I, I was there last night and I'll be there again every week. So, uh, yeah, I, you ch check it out. Uh, tweeting my uh, my spicy Yankees takes as well. <laughs> okay. All right. And Mary Ann, where can people keep up with you? Oh, my gosh. If you can find me in person, yes. say hello. And then, you know, Twitter, Instagram. Your, your, your mic is starting to give out. <laughs> oh, Twitter, Instagram, the usual, you know. Okay. Marianne will catch. Okay. Marianne will catch. And of course, uh, you could check out everything that we have going on here on Rob is a podcast. The Survivor Know It All is here today. We've got a brand new tier over on Patreon. It's it's the Jelinski. Oh. Several means seven. It's a limited time, much like Jelinski himself, a limited time offer, one week only yeah, if you want to get in. You have the, to uh, you you have to quit uh, mid month if you if you get the choice. No, that, the the tier is gonna is gonna be gone after a week. You can stay a patron at that seven dollar level, but nobody else can get in after a week. You get the patron podcast feed and access to the Discord. That's at robinswebsitecom slash patron. Thank you so much for joining us. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Bye.